In the meantime, the th freezing weather took a toll on transit systems. Track trouble meant delays for thousands of commuters at Penn Station. That's where we find TV 1055's Weija Jang live tonight. Weija. Hey, Dick, what a headache for people. So many were crammed into the waiting area for New Jersey Transit because the agency used a different train to de-ice the track, so there was only one commuter track open for travel, and that meant people's schedules were frozen when all they wanted to do was go home. Commuting in the cold is chaotic, even crazier tonight for New Jersey transit passengers. We've been trying to get home for the last hour and a half, two hours. Corday Nelson and Hassana Bush stuck in this massive group of delayed customers at Penn Station. Trains on four major lines were about an hour late because ice covered the tracks and crews had to break it up. We have two kids that we have to get home to, to Newark to get to. So it stops everything, and now we're trying to figure out how is what's the best traveling. Even though announcements blasted through the sound system. People were confused. Cell phone video shows many scrambling to find their trains, fighting the crowd. The challenge is figuring out how to get to the door of my gate. Um, when it is time. Frustrated, eager to get home after an exhausting few days in the deep freeze. Long week, not um, really excited to be here, but you know, trying to rein it in because there's a lot of pushing and uh, yeah, a little frustrated people. And right now, there are still some residual delays for New Jersey Transit customers and for LIRR customers. Service was suspended earlier this evening between Ronkonkoma and Greenpoint because the winds were so high, it blew snow onto the rails. So crews are working on that as well. But for now, we're live at Penn Station, Weija Jang at TV 1055. Okay, Weija, thank you.